What's going on, everybody? We're back with the Crooked Man or the Crook Man. This is part five, and we went to an abandoned hospital, found Timmy, and supposedly, but we know what happens. Anyway, I know what happens. But uh, the Crooked Man, we pushed the cro Crooked Man off the edge, and now we are. Uh, yeah. Let's get into it. Damn it. David hasn't answered a single call. What is he up to and where? Paul, what do we do? I know we shouldn't have left David alone. Marion, get a hold of yourself. How can I be calm about this? David's so worn out from things, with his mother and Shirley. He's even suffering over old wounds. I was always scared for, for him, scared that he'd do something there was no turning back from. I suggested moving to get his mind clear, but that didn't help. Now did it? It wasn't a bad idea, but it was a mistake for me to pick that place. Huh? Damn it, I'll call again. If he doesn't answer, we'll call in the police. What do you mean? Why would the room be? Uh, don't tell me ghost stories at a time like this. Always talking about how you see things and... <gasps> David! David, where are you? Oh, okay. They have been in hospital in Stafford. But why are you over there? Listen, I'll find you, so wait for me. Don't so much as move a muscle. Don't come. Please don't. Please don't. Leave me alone. Sorry. Salvation. David. Hey, David. Yeah. He's in Stafford? It'd probably take about a day to get there on my motorcycle. Marianne, I'm gonna get I'm going to get David. I'm going with you. David is my friend too. I can't just ignore him at a place like at a time like this. Alright, let's go. David's car. He's got to still be here. Come on, Marion. It's dark, so stay close behind me. Right. All right. Then we're playing as Paul and Marion. Okay, we're gonna do this real quick. Paul Martin and Marion Martin. Okay, let's go into the hospital. All right. So we know that David is on the roof, right? Were those footsteps? They were from upstairs. That you, David? We gotta follow this first, though. Who's there? What are you doing there? Uh, a girl? Hey, what are you doing in this old place? You hate sissies like me, don't you? Huh? But your friend is more important to you, right? Hey, who the heck are you? What's this about? Go see him. Man, the hell was that? Alright, now we're gonna go back down. No, this wasn't it. I'm just gonna make sure real quick because I forgot how this works on this part. I think we're supposed to we're supposed to now go to the other okay yeah. Okay. There we go. <gasps> Someone else, David? Hey, who are you? Yo The hell? What are you doing here all alone? Hey, he's your friend, right? Go on and save him. Tell him the truth. Huh? The truth? What? I'm counting on you. Uh, what? Why are there so many people here? I don't get it.
There was a crook man and he walked the crook mile. A kid? Don't tell me a kid's wandering here. He found a crook sixpence upon a crook style. He bought a crook cat which caught a crook mouse. Kid, what are you doing? And they all lived together in a crook little house. Hey, what are you listening to me? Then he had a crook thought. Why is crookedness my lot? Why must I be crooked instead of being not? That's not how the song goes. I, uh, I guess I was not. Okay, sure. So the crooked man would cry. And he couldn't fathom why. He was sad all the time. And he sighed. I don't know. And so he... Mr. Dave is look waiting for you. Go see him. Hey. What what was with that kid? Why do you know David? Did we did he meet him? Forget about it. Let's go, Marion. Marion, what's up? Stop it. Are you teasing me? Don't you know this isn't the time for that? Huh? Marion, what do you mean teasing you? Just who do you keep talking to? Huh? Stop trying to spook me. I know there wouldn't be anyone here. We just need to find David, no jokes. So that's it. Marion, go and leave the hospital. Sorry for uh, trying to spook you. Don't worry, I'll find David. Wait, I'm staying with you. If anything happened to you, I'd be putting two family members in danger. So please... So, oh, sorry, please just trust me. All right, please come back quickly. Right. All right, I'm gonna go get David. Just wait for me, David. Now, I know in this part there are. Just wait. <laughs> David, what are you doing out there? David. Paul? Why why are you here? Came to pick you up. I'll ask for a good explanation later. For now, you're coming home. Forget about me. Just leave me alone. Hey, Dave. Stay away. No, David. David, you... I'm... I'm hopeless. I keep walking, but I see nothing. I'll never, ever be happy. I'm... I'm a crooked man. No matter what, that's what I'll be. And those are the only things I'll have. Boom. David? What, what, what's that? Agony. Living is agony. Nothing will go how I want it. So right here, right now. David! Alright, so we have these three endings, and I know one of them... I know, I think we... One, one, one of them is the right one, anyway. I know it is. I, I'm just making it a... Can't talk right now. Anyways, we're just waiting. We gotta use all of them now. I know you've had it really rough. I'm your best bud, after all. I'm always trying to help you out. And it might be hard now, but tides can change. Good things can still happen. No, I know they will. Whatever happens, I'll help you. So, shut up. Who do you think you are? You want to help me? You say good things will happen? They never have. All my hoping came to nothing. So I am... D David, stop. Don't say that. Whoa. Who are you? Huh? I don't know you, and you couldn't know me. The only one who understood me was him. D David, you're... The only time you'll never, you'll ever understand is in your last moments. Out of my sight, hypocrite. David!
Davin. Bed and three. Goodbye, my friend. All right, so we're back, and we're gonna do the second option. Take the gun. Why, you? Why do you have a gun anyway? Give me that. Stop. Let go. Just leave me be. Fred, I can't do that, David. You're my... Stop. Huh? What? Paul! D did I did I just shoot you? I I didn't. It, it can't be. I really c killed. No, David, not your fault. I tried to grab the gun. It was all me. It's not your fault, David. You're not a bad guy. I'm sorry, Paul. Bad end four. Not your fault, David. Alright, and then we're gonna get the right ending. So here we go. We punch. Ah! Ow! 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 You damn monster! Get away from David! Hey! Ow! Stop! Ow! Yeah. <laughs> that it hurts. Stop, you moron. David, you back with us? Don't say that. Don't say that like I went nuts. I've been sane from the start. Like hell. It's that if that's the kind of thing you do you do sane, I have to beat you up till you promise not to. Triple dot. Now, about the stuff you've been doing. You better tell me everything that happened. Hmm. Sissy, D, and Fluffy. And that crooked monster. Oh, so you believe in the monster? That's my occult fanatic. Well, you see, it's not exactly fan uh, fanaticism. Fan... <sighs> Fanat... Fanatism. I don't know, I can't say it, sorry. Didn't I always tell you that I see things? You and Marion never believed me. Sheesh. Anyway, about Sissy D and the kiddo. I think I met them. Huh? That's ridiculous. Fluffy, maybe. But Sissy and D wouldn't be here. Listen up, David. People's consciousness, they sort of stick around in places. More of your occult shtick? You seriously making fun of the occult after this? Just listen to no jokes. So you've had it pretty similar to the guy I'm used to live in your room, right? Shattered dreams, bad breakup, family trouble. When I first looked at the place, it was fine, but once you moved in, I had the strange feeling, from you and from the room. I I'd had to guess the guy's consciousness was a perfect match with you. Gotta be why you wanted to meet the guy too. So you're saying he's calling me? Yep, and you're unconsciously responding. Some people are soft-hearted to the core, and always sympathize with others and they get taken advantage of the most. Taken advantage of? Look, don't I barely know the guy? You know a little from that stuff he left, and that was all stuff you could identify with. Jeez. So what would you think of a guy who's the spitting image of you? Would you hate him or like him? I don't know. I'm guessing both. Same as him. Think back. The crooked man tried to kill you, tried to drag you with him. But on the other hand, weren't there people who relied on you, who wanted your help? What? <gasps> he hated you because he liked, but he, he hated you, but he liked you. He thought he could share in suffering with you, so he was seeking your help. And that's why you met those people. That's what I'm thinking. Honestly, I'm not sure if, I, if it's right. It's not quite right. He wasn't seeking my help. He, he helped me. 
coming back on my feet. Again, that's you and him being similar. Hmm? What's up? There's something in my pocket. When did I pick this up? An address. And I don't think it's that far. I'm going. I have to meet him. You could always not. What if something happens? I feel like if I don't go, the crooked man will follow me forever, so I'm going. David! You come back to us safe. I, I don't want to go to my friend's funeral. Yeah, I know. Thanks. Scene 4. Central Hospital, Paul. End. Boom! I'm gonna save right here. And that was part 5. Yeah, I don't know why I was thinking too much of it. Part 5. Anyways, an amazing game. And we're almost at the end. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching if you didn't. And, peace out.